Then, around the New Testament, there are a number of writer, writings that didn't get into the New Testament canon. Some of them might very well have done so. There are two letters by Clement, uh, St. Clement, who was a, uh, a leader in the early church, and there are a few others of the same quality. But for the most part, there are a number of apocryphal writings that in the Middle Ages were accepted as very, log as very largely authentic, but which modern historical scholarship has rejected entirely as having any claim to, to uh, authenticity. But as long as they were accepted, they had an important cultural influence. For example, if you read Middle English, you will find there many references to the harrowing of hell, that Jesus after his death is supposed to have descended to hell and taken out of hell all the people who were destined for salvation, starting with Adam and Eve and ending with John the Baptist. And this is accepted as a part of the gospel in, for example, Chaucer, but it is entirely apocryphal. It goes back to a book called The Gospel of Nicodemus, or sometimes The Acts of Pilate, and it uh, is an interesting book, but it, as, a, as a gospel, it's a fraud. You can't accept it as having any historical basis at all. And <clears throat> then there are a number of infancy gospels which elaborate legends about the childhood of Christ. And uh, in one of them, for example, um, Jesus is out making mud pies and uh, one of his little pals comes along and uh, interferes with his play so the infant Jesus strikes him dead. And uh, <laughs> the dead child's mother comes to complain to the Virgin Mary and Virgin Mary says to Jesus, now look, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't go around killing people. Like this, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's bad for public relations. And uh, so the infant Jesus says, oh, well, all right. And so he, <laughs> he goes back and brings the little boy back to life again and, <laughs> and goes on with his mud pies. In another part of the same book, he is represented as being somewhat bewildered that the other children didn't want to play with him. And, uh, <clears throat> and so they go prattling on and on with the inventiveness of second-rate minds. And uh, <clears throat> at the same time, it is those Gospels which assign an ancestry for the Virgin Mary and make her mother, for example, St. Anne. And St. Anne was the patron saint, I believe, of the province of Quebec. Uh, <clears throat> St. Anne de Beaupre is still a famous shrine there until it, uh, uh, until it was realized that there was no historical evidence for the existence of St. Anne, nothing in the Bible about her at all. And so the patron saint was transferred to St. John the Baptist. But that kind of... Uh, of uh, of nimbus, so to speak, does gather around the sacred writings, and they have been edited by a man named Montague James, who calls them the New Testament Apocrypha. Montague James was headmaster of Eton College and wrote some excellent ghost stories, and uh, <clears throat> was also a classical scholar who edited these books. Then there are also two secular writers that I may be referring to quite frequently. One was a Jewish philosopher living in Alexandria in Egypt during the time of Jesus and known to posterity as Philo Judeus. And he was a Platonic philosopher who attempted to derive the doctrine of forms in Plato from the account of creation in Genesis, and while there's a good deal of straining to make 
interpretive points in his books, still they are also full of interest for anybody who is interested in the biblical pattern of imagery. And then there is a great Jewish historian, Josephus, who lived at the time of the Roman destruction of Judea and who wrote a book called Antiquities of the Jews, which uh, covers much the same ground as the Old Testament, but adds a great deal of detail in the later period. He is, for example, fascinated by King Herod, who turns up at the beginning of the New Testament, and a great deal of his book is devoted to Herod and his doings. And <clears throat> he has a later book called Wars of the Jews, which uh, deals with the final struggles against the Roman power. And he is, again, invaluable as a, as a uh, historical authority for the Old Testament period. <clears throat>